lots of my audience are asking me to recover uh, their Google ID because they don't have uh, their mobile phone, they don't have their recovered email address and right now. So before also I already uploaded a video, you can check this video in this i button. Okay, before I uploaded that video and lots of lots uh, my uh, subscribers are asking me how can I recover if I don't have uh, the email ID, if I don't have the mobile number. So if you are also searching that kind of video, you are in the right video. In this video, I'll discuss how can you recover your uh, Google ID and I'm giving you the five tips. Okay. And you have, if, if you want to also know uh, that five tricks uh, to recover your Google account, then this is the right video for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you how can you uh, uh, recover your Google account without using your recover email address, without using your mobile number. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the five tips, okay? which will help you to recover your Google account. Okay, if you don't have your recover email address, and if you don't have the recovery mobile number also so i'm going to teach you the five tips in this video which will help you to recover your gmail account or google account without using your recovery email address without using your mobile number so please watch until the last okay hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are also watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press in the bell icon and i want to give thank you to my all of my subscribers who are subscribing my youtube channel thank you so much for sharing my video okay so without any late let's begin our tutorial first tips is forgot password using this forgot password uh, you can reset your google password okay so using this uh, method you need a, a recovery email address and recovery mobile number uh, if you have a recovery email address and if you have a recovery email id then in that case you can use this method you can uh, click in the forgot password and after that google will provide you different kind of options uh, for recovery email address or recovery mobile number okay so to make clear i'm going to show you my computer screen how can you recover your google id using your forgot password method hello guys so this is the first method to recover your google account okay using your um, recovery email address or recovery mobile number so first of all you have to put your email id or your phone number so i am just using my email id uh, okay so after this just it's, uh, it's asking me enter your password so if i pull uh, uh, if i'm putting the random uh, random password it's telling me that wrong password right if you uh, have already forgot your password then just click in the forgot password so now you can see it's asking me that uh, i can use my last password if you have remember the last password then in that case you can use your last password to recover your google account but in this time i'm not using this one and just click in the try another way now you can see here it's asking me my mobile number and i can use my mobile number right here okay and after uh, using my uh, phone number and it will send me a, a six digit uh, verification code and after that i have to put this one it's telling me that to get a verification code first confirm the phone number that you added to your account and standard rates of lie okay but in this time i'm not using this one and if you have a recovery mobile number then in that case you can use this one and i'm just clicking that i don't have my phone number now you can see it's asking me my, uh, my recovery email address so if you have already um, uh, put some recovery email address in your previous email id then in that case you can use the recovery email address and after using this it will work okay and the second method is if you don't have your recovery email address or recovery mobile number you can use uh, this method okay so uh, using this method you can recover your uh, gmail id so if you uh, don't have your recovery email address and uh, you don't have recovery uh, mobile number what can you do in that case you can add another uh, recovery email id it will take some time 
but it will work. So to make clear, I'm going to show you my computer screen. So now I'm going to use my another method, so which is also very useful method. So just I have to uh, put my email ID or phone number. So I'm just putting my email ID, okay, and just clicking the next, and it's asking me my password. And because I don't have uh, my password, that's why I'm clicking the forward password, okay. It's asking me my last password. I don't have that one also, so I'm clicking in the try another way and it's giving me another window and it's asking me that my mobile number uh, but in this time i don't have my mobile number also that's why i'm clicking the i don't have my phone and now you can see it's asking me my recovery email address but in this time i don't have my recovery email address also and i'm clicking the try another way okay so now you can see it's, it's telling me that enter an email address where we can contact you later okay so just click in here so i'm using some some email id here so just for a moment i am just using my another email id and it's it's telling me uh, it's uh, it's asking me my uh, code it's telling me that an email will verification code was just sent to your email id okay so i am just opening another browser and i am just checking this one okay now i am just going to in my another gmail account so first of all i am clicking in the gmail.com and just wait for a moment it will take some time it depends on your internet speed i don't have uh, so I'm just going to in my another uh, Gmail ID and now I'm using my password Okay, now I'm logging in Okay, just wait for a moment. It's logging in. Okay now uh, wait for a moment my another uh, gmail account is logging in now you can see here google has sent me a verification code to my email id and now i am using this one now you can see here is a verification code okay so i am just using this one so now i am just using this verification code to verify so i am just going here and i am just using a verification code here and i'm just clicking in the next and after this what it will say it's telling me that thanks for confirming that you can access the contact email address you provide so you can use this method also okay but it will take some time and the third tips is you can uh, use your first name and last name but it should be correct some people have a habit to put different name when they are creating a gmail account such as uh, if my name is Dipesh, they will put Repesh, okay? But this is not a uh, uh, good way to create your Gmail ID. If you have put the right uh, uh, first name and last name when you are creating a Gmail ID, then it will work, okay? So, for this one, to make clear, I'm going to show you my computer screen. So, this is not for actually you are recovering your uh, Gmail account. It is just uh, to recover your email ID. It means if you have already forgotten your email ID also, uh, but uh, just you have a, a memory of your uh, mobile number okay in that case you can use this trick to uh, find your email id okay but uh, in this time just you have to remember your email id or sorry your mobile number if you have forgotten your mobile number also you cannot uh, recover your gmail id okay so that's why you have to remember your mobile number then after that only you will uh, find your email id so this trick is not uh, for your uh, for your password it's only for your email id okay. so now just i'm clicking in the forgot email okay now it's telling me that uh, into your phone number or recovery email okay in, in this time i have to use my uh, phone number or recovery email so i am just using my uh, recovery email id here okay so now you can see it's asking my uh, first name and last name and if i click here in the next button i think it's telling me that google will send a verification code to my email id okay then after that 
I can find my email ID but uh, if you uh, uh, if you put your first name and last name is wrong in that case it will not work okay but you you need to put your first name also correct it should be right uh, and uh, the last name also should be correct if the first name and the last name is not correct you cannot find your email ID okay so this is the another trick to find your email ID if you have uh, lost your uh, Gmail ID if you forget your email ID this is the best uh, method to find out your email ID using your recovery email address or recovery mobile number that's it and the number four tricks if you are using an Android mobile phone and you are signing in using that email ID then in that case also you can recover your uh, Google account okay so if you are using a play, uh, play store using that email ID if you are using uh, any kind of Google services such as Google Drive okay or any kind of services uh, uh, of Google so in that case it will work so uh, to make clear I'm going to show you my computer screen friends here is the another method which is one of the best method okay so first of all you have to enter your email ID or your phone number okay so I'm just choosing my email ID and after this is telling me that enter your password but I don't have my password because I already forgot it my password so there is just two option uh, there is only one option available for a good password and I'm just clicking in the for good password and after this it's asking me enter the last password it means if if I have remembered the last password the with uh, related with this uh, email ID mm, uh, in that uh, case I can use that last password but in this time I don't have my last password also so I'm just clicking in the try another way now you can see if you have already signed in into your Android device then in that case the Google will send a notifications to your Android smartphone but it should be logged in in your Android smartphone if you you have not uh, signed in before in your Android device uh, this email ID then in that case it will not work it should be logged in before then after that it will be work if you uh, if you haven't uh, signed in uh, before in Android system uh, using this email ID then in that case it will not work so now you can see it's giving me a, a two digit number here and I have to enter that one inside my Android system then it will uh, give me a new packet new password okay so uh, no not the new password you have to put a new password okay so this is also another good tricks to reset your gmail id that's it and the last five number tips that is the browser okay using the browser also uh, you can uh, recover your gmail id okay it can be but uh, it is not sure uh, it can be uh, recover uh, your uh, Gmail ID using your browser, but it can be there. Okay, for this one, for the Google Chrome, you can go in the settings, then after that, you can check the login email ID and password. It might be there when um, sometimes some people mistakenly click in the remember password. Okay, and uh, yeah, it will be there. And for the Firefox, just click in the uh, the three icons. It means the options of the Mozilla Firefox. Then after that, there uh, there will be uh, the login and password. Then when you will click in the login and password, it might be there your Gmail ID and password. Sometimes some people mistakenly click there. So to make clear, I'm going to show you my computer screen so friends let's talk about the another method which one is uh, just uh, using your login password it may be there in your web browser so just click here uh, and just click in the uh, settings okay now you will see there now you can see here there is a uh, one option available that is password okay if you click there now you can see there are lots of lots uh, website and the username and the password available okay. 
so from here maybe uh, it can be there so it will be also very useful okay uh, so this is for the chrome browser and for the mozilla firefox just go to here and after this just go go to here and just click in the login and password and after this uh, you can see there, there there are lots of lots username and password available inside my the Firefox logwise okay so uh, it it may be there but um, but uh, it's not guaranteed it will be there but uh, by mistakenly if you have uh, click in the save password it may be there so hoping that you understand thank you so much for watching this video until the last and if you have still any kind of confusion about this video if you are still getting some uh, problems to recover your google account please let me know in the comment sections don't hesitate to ask me in the comment sections i'll try to give answer of your each questions hoping that you understand something from this video and i want to give thank you uh, for all of you who are subscribing my youtube channel and who are sharing my video to among the people who are getting the problems and i will talk about the technology in this youtube channel i'll make a technology related video in this youtube channel that's why you can also subscribe this video if you uh, love to learn more about the technology so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll meet with another video uh, goodbye see you again